Good morn after evening, folks. This is Jeremy, aka Just Mutant Jed. I have had a heck of a day. In fact, I've had a heck of a two days, but uh, here we are now. Uh, so today I have a Kickstarter and uh, unboxing, and you may notice that uh, there's no label on this, and that is because this uh, plastic bit right here had a. Uh, a full sheet full of information about me, and I didn't really want to put that out on the internet again, so uh, we're, we're moving forward from that. So this is a Japanese Higo no Kami knife. Let me double check the spelling, make sure I pronounce that correctly. Higo no Kami, yeah. Uh, so a Higo no Kami knife is a particular style of knife that is particularly made in Japan. Uh, excuse me if I use weird language, I am tired, very, very tired. I had about one hour of sleep the other day, and I am still catching up uh, because a water pipe broke in my place. So, <clears throat> I'm not in my right mind, but uh, it is it is what it is. Everything's okay, I'm okay, my place is more or less okay, but the piping is very much not and in fact it may be older than me and it, it has an option on being older than um, my parents so uh, the campaign was above board for the most part uh, there was some some stuff going on that I wasn't quite sure about uh, they they started fulfilling sometime around um, September, I think. Uh, they had to take a break for Obon, which is a Japanese festival, but, uh, you know, I don't take the, uh, I don't, uh, hold that against them, you know, you gotta observe your, observe your significant days, that is cool. Um, <clears throat> so, I had a problem getting this knife to me, uh, because apparently the, uh, the package was returned to them at one point, and I'm not entirely sure where the package was returned along the way. It could have been at my building's office, or it could have been at customs or something else. They wouldn't say, they didn't say, and they, uh, continue to not say, and, uh, quite honestly, I'm fine with that because I finally got my knife. I had to send it to my job, but I got it, and, uh, in a move of goodwill, uh, they decided not to charge me for the extra shipping, so... It brightens my day to see that it has arrived, and I'm hoping that it is in good condition, because you'll notice that this is in a uh, floppy package, and the Higo no Kami occupies about, mm, well, this, <laughs> this much of this giant package. So, we're going to find out together. <clears throat> I'm still not in frame. <sighs> not like y'all want to see see much of me anyways, but, uh, you know. So, I do want to say thank you to Alpha Kogyo Limited. They are the ones that ran this campaign and, uh, fulfilled the orders, uh, for their hard work. Um, yeah. Well, let's see, uh, see what we got. Oh, okay, cool. So, hmm. I believe this is supposed to be some kind of uh, certificate of authenticity. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I cannot read Japanese, uh, despite uh, trying on a number of occasions. I have uh, failed to gain much in the way of any kind of uh, fluency or mastery about it. So... Dear Kickstarter backers, thank you so much for your support for our first Kickstarter project. We are proud to bring you a piece of traditional Japanese knife history from the only true maker of the Higo no Kami knife. Uh, precautions for use, standard boilerplate, uh, you know, be careful, it's sharp, keep out of reach of children. 
Uh, they recommend using camellia oil or rust preventative oil. Good, because I don't think anyone on the island sells camellia oil. Um, <clears throat> so, the knife itself. It has a bunch of kanji on here that uh, I don't know how to read. That's fine. I accept my failings. And uh, yes, okay. There we go. Hmm. It looks like these markings. Oh, I don't know what they say, and in fact, it's so hard to see on the camera because. Uh, my brightness settings are way out of whack, but uh, yeah, there are some kanji on here. I assume it has something to do with uh, with the knife maker themselves. Uh, yeah. So, uh, the handle slash sheath is a little bit bowed out. Let's take a let's take a look at the uh, blade here. Okay. It's a nice, nice finish on the blade. Ooh, that's tight. Ah, tight action on there. Of course, when uh, when there's no uh, no liner lock or anything like that, then uh, yeah. Um. Hmm. We might have a problem. Hmm. Uh. I'm having trouble telling, but it appears. Let's get one of these here. It appears that the blade is not straight. Um, hmm. That's even apparent on the uh, on the camera. This is well a little bit disappointing after I spent I think sixty dollars on this knife. I'll have to double check to make sure, but yeah, that uh, that skews off uh, a bit. Now, I can't tell whether it's straight. No, no, it's not even straight by indexing to the blade either. Uh, the blade itself, I believe, is curved um, in a direction that the blade is not supposed to curve. Well, gosh, I was, uh, I was very, uh, I was very excited to receive this and, uh, I mean, it's not unusable in the first place, but uh, with a blade that is not only bent, but also, from the looks of it, twisted. Uh, oh my goodness. Goodness gracious me. Excuse me, I had to go mute there for a cough. Um, so yeah, that was, that is, was, has been, will be the Higo no Kami knife. I got it, but uh, mildly disappointed in the production quality. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here so I can uh, go have uh, lunch, dinner, and uh, contact the makers of this knife and uh, see what we can do about uh, 
quality assurance or possibly a refund on my uh, on my pledge because that's not within expectations of uh, quality for something like this. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. This has been Jeremy, a.k.a. Just Mutant Jed, and uh, hey, take care of each other out there, and Happy New Year.